Hello and welcome back to round five of the 2022 Bilbao special event. Uh, my name is Jamie Boyd. I'm joined once again by Luke Romy. And now we are getting deeper into this mm -hmm. tournament. We are uh, getting some of these runs that we are saying we are featuring two more four and zero players. And so it's going to be a great game coming out here. It can still Dynamax the Landorus as well, and it is facing Ooh. down two paralyzed Pokemon, so it would be able to go for at least one Max Moose. So even <laughs> at such low HP, it still can get off one of those Max Moose, and that means it can go for a Rock Fall as well. Instead, the Rock 2 may not have been enough, but Rock Fall is probably enough at this point. And then the Sashion on Kevin's side of the field is not paralyzed, and the Sashion on Eric's side of the field is, and is definitely in range of the Behemoth Blade. So Kevin, actually, with such a low HP as Landorus, it may be pulling this one back with the HP Dynamax here with this Landorus. Oh my lord, ladies and gents. Yeah, and so you should be. Being able to reach the finals is, is a great feat, and we're, we're looking forward to see who is going to be able to take it all the way. Uh, of course, one very important thing in these kind of tournaments where you're paired up against a different team each week is how you go about preparing your matches against the teams, what kind of teams you're going to be bringing. Uh, so, Arash, uh, we'll start with you. What, how, how do you go about preparing for each of the different weeks? Do you try and counter-team the opponent, or do you try and build teams that are just going to be very solid against whatever you could face? Yeah, and as soon as you switch in your Groudon, you get the solar power boost as well as the uh, extra boost from the sun on your wildfire. So uh, even the Rotom would be able to survive that attack, even if it's a wildfire going into the resisted hit. Uh, and now you've got your airstream as well first. You saw you were faster. And this should be doing a bit more damage than it did previously, but that Landorus is still <laughs> oh so bulky. Even oh in the God. sun, even at plus two. It's able to shrug off that attack and survive. The Thunderbolt gets to finish off the Charizard here. So that means the Landorus is hitting a Mac to move into the switched in Groudon. That is just the benefit of running assumedly so much bulk on this Landorus. Uh, very nice item choices coming out for Menelik's side of the field. The life on the Cadirex doing a lot of damage. The safety goggles being very crucial and just Im effectively stealing immediately game two uh, yeah. on the on the Thunderous. And the switcheroo on the Whimsicott forcing out the Palkia so it couldn't set Trick Room in the, in the next game. So you can see how crucial these item choices are. And especially on these kind of teams that are so hyper offensive and want to just be doing the, the massive damage, the item cho choices are very crucial. Well, yeah, because you're forcing your opponent's hand to only very limited options that they could go for. It's just so so, so powerful, and you really need to have your checks for him. Well, the check was the Incineroar, but then it, it was took a apparently. Max Darkness drop, so then it was Whoa. no longer a check, it got two shot at that point. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's, it's very, very strong showing for that kind of team. Uh, very interesting to see Caloric Shadow Rider and Kyogre going 4-0 in this tournament, and you can see there, we, we came in with a, a player with no achievements behind them at the moment. This yes. could be their first achievement, uh, so going to be very interesting to follow Menelik going forward into this tournament. Actually, Porygon 2 is going to have to take a big critical hit with the Helping Hand boost as well and will be KO, but it has certainly done more than its fair share in this game one. Wow, what a Porygon 2 set. Speed Swap and Ally Switch. And, mm -hmm. all, and both of them being incredibly impactful in this game. That Speed Swap, that was some huge damage into the Rillaboom because the electric terrain is up over the grassy terrain. Rising Voltage has its double power, so that was massive damage. That is very much in Glacial Lance range at this point. And now that you committed to the Dynamax, you can't go for any priority glass, Grass Glides, even if the Grass Terrain was on the field. And mm. you'd have to switch out the Rillaboom to be able to reset that. So that would be a Kyogre switching in to a potential pretty slow Regieleki going for a Rising Voltage in Electric Terrain. So uh, this is a fantastic position for Shoma. Some very, very cool text coming out from that Paragon 2. Yeah, and so I can't believe we finally made it to the end. This is going to be a goodbye from us. Thank you so much for joining us across these 10 weeks. It has been a fantastic tournament. And I will just give a quick shout out to you, Costa, because we are also on that list. You did miss me off your list of casters, so I'm going to ignore that slightly. You noticed! Your birthday, <laughs> you noticed! There we go. Uh, so yeah, that is, that is going to be it from us. Thank you very much for joining us, and congratulations to Spain for winning the World Cup of Pokemon VGC.